Okay, good morning guys. Let me turn this fan off. Okay, so I am going down to Massachusetts today to go back to um, this old farmhouse because I'm the owner is allowing me to take any furniture, antiques, whatever I want out of the house, the garage, there's like a van on the property or like a semi truck just full of like old antiques before it gets demolished and then um, a new home is going to be built there. So I'm just having a little bit of coffee. I normally don't drink coffee but I think I'm going to need the energy today and um, I'm going to try to video there. It's going to rain today and there's like no running water there so like between moving all like this old furniture that's been sitting for years like the dust and this old house that's been sitting mildew probably um it's gonna be interesting because i'm not gonna be able to like, wash my hands there and then if it rains it's probably gonna be like, really hard for me to film but i'm gonna try my best i don't think i'm gonna bring my tripod i'm just gonna like video what's going on and if i can prop it up somewhere and make an appearance in that video then i will but um it should be an interesting day, and I hope the weather is somewhat agreeable. But I'll see you in the next clip. I'm gonna get ready. Probably gonna bring hand sanitizer, an extra pair of clothes, because it's a couple hour drive away. So, that's what's going on today. So, come on. Okay, so I just worked out, I had some breakfast. I'm not even gonna shower because I'm just gonna go there to get really sweaty. It's like 84 degrees, to, or it's gonna be 84 degrees down there. So, no point. I'll do that when I get home. And I'm not gonna put like. I'm not gonna put any makeup on because I know as soon as I get out of there, I'm gonna want to wash my face. So do you have any? Okay, let me pick up some earrings and figure out what the heck I'm gonna wear. I'm probably gonna bring a change of clothes too, just in case I get real sweaty. Okay, so I threw on some pearl earrings. I left my tank top on, put on some leggings, got my thick socks on, and I think I'm just gonna put on some boots like work boots that I have downstairs and I want to pack a change of clothes just in case like I stop to eat or grab some food so okay so I packed the bag here ice water sunglasses change of clothes sunblock toiletries because there again there's no running water at this house Okay, so I'm going in the house. There's a few pieces of furniture that I want in here. It's been a few months to like, since I've been here. Oh, there's a bat. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna have this table brought to the house. This will be a good work table. Um, as you can see, pretty much, it's really sad to see a, an old house. 
everything that it's been through. Wonder what the people who lived here were like. See the wallpaper print. There's some things upstairs though I'm gonna I'll show you guys. Okay. This is the attic space. Careful where I walk here. These pictures are so lovely, but the frames are really crumbling. It's a shame. Maybe they were the original owners. It's this beautiful old radio that I'm gonna have moved. Okay, so I'm in the basement now. The fucking next level creepy. These spider webs like have mold on it. It's like really <laughs> bizarre. But I found a nice old crack, so I'll show you guys later. So now I'm in the garage here. It's really it's really so cool. Found a rake I'm gonna take. <laughs> Okay, so it's the next day because when I came home last night, I just wanted to take a shower. So I brought all this stuff in my mudroom and now I have it here on the kitchen table because this all needs to be cleaned up. So I got a stone rake. Probably the best find was this stoneware crock with a lid and there's no cracking, like even imperfections on the inside. It's in great condition. It just needs to be washed. And then I found in that garage, this really lovely, I think it's iron, but it also could be brass, super old um, and like robust uh, hook. This piece of uh, marble, some brass latches here, a little brass um, pulley, literally like a whole thing of keys and locks. Cute little box. I don't know if I'll keep that, but um, I found these beautiful, um, Brass hinges, a thimble, some sharpening stones, more keys, uh, more stoneware, these cute little, this one was for cotter pins, and this one was for washers. And this is a whole complete lock set with the original box, like the handle and everything. There's a chance that that might not be in good condition, but I want to start like washing up the stoneware and the marble and stuff like that. And um, just feeling better about having it in my house because this stuff was like, I'm sure there were mice and mold and all that jazz. So I wanna like clean everything up. So that's what we're gonna do. So I cleaned up these things here and they really, I mean, this piece of marble I'm in love with. It's so beautiful, like all the veining. And then I was going through some of the boxes. I actually found some jewelry. Um, I actually think it's gold filled, which you can get a little bit of money for. This one actually might be so gold. Um, but um, I think those three are gold filled, but I know a place that'll take gold filled jewelry. And then um, you can kind of see a little bit better, like the insane amount of keys. I think this one might go to like a clock. It has some really unique features to it. But yeah, so many. So many keys, but yeah, still cleaning. 
Okay, so I just washed everything off. I brought the majority of the stuff back in the house, but um, that piece is just drying. It's probably ready to be brought in. But I think I'm gonna end the um, vlog here. And then I might do like some style videos or reels and shorts with like some of the pieces that I um got. And there's still more furniture at the house that still needs to be delivered here. I'm not sure when that's gonna happen, but hopefully it's like not for another few weeks because I need a break cleaning all this stuff up. This was a lot, but um, thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this.